Hey everybody, welcome to our daily breather. Um, this is our little time out um, during a busy day where we just take a little bit of time to focus on gratitude um, and take a deep breath together. Yeah, so first we're gonna light this candle for everybody on the front lines and uh, talking about the people who are working in the medical field, the educators, the small business owners, the employees and delivery people who are still working during this insane time. So this candle goes out to all of them. And there was a, something I kind of want to try. If you guys want to hang with me, there's this new breath practice I learned in um, my yoga classes called Seashelly, which is like the cooling breath. Seashelly? No, like Seashelly. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I've looked up a ton of videos on uh, on how to do this, and uh, it's supposed to be really effective. Um, maybe after you've gone through, like, gone on a run, or if you're really amped up, or maybe if you're stressed, or you know, kind of really got kind of like a fire in your spirit, and you just need to like cool down. Um, so the way that you do it is uh, you stick out your tongue. <laughs> And you curl the edges like um, a little taco. Like. Isn't that like a genetic thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do it. See if you can do it. And if you can't, just stick your tongue out. What do I do after that? And so we're going to keep your tongue out and breathe in like a little straw for five breaths. And then you're going to close your mouth and hold it. And then we're going to breathe out through the nose. So it's almost like the opposite of what we've been doing in through the nose, out through the mouth. So we're going to breathe in through the straw for five breaths, hold it, and then breathe out. And it's going to, like, give a little cool, a little more calm sensation. Yeah, right. Michael's got it. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. for five times <laughs> no 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 that's good five beat, five uh counts in hold for two and five out you guys oh, did really good that. no yeah, it was it's fine it's kind of nicer yeah. i just feel like i was able to breathe in more doing yeah that. it makes your mouth yeah. cool it does mm -hmm. um okay so thank you um for sticking your tongue out and being weird for a minute um <laughs> try it if you're really amped up or maybe you just got an argument you need to kind of like cool down uh try that breath cool so we're going to play a song for you, and we're going to play the title track of our upcoming record. Uh, we've been playing it a lot recently. Usually we play it like electric and crazy and amped up, and now we're going to have Michael play guitar and Katie play cello and play mandolin on it. And this is a song about perspective. Um, I think before any of this happened, we were always trying to race to the next destination and trying to figure out what we needed to do next. And now we're at a standstill, and I think all three of us have a totally different perspective on our lives before this. Um, you know, in ways both good and bad, we were we were living our lives, and you know, it's good to have a chance to stop and reflect that you're moving exactly at the speed you need to. It's just a matter of taking a moment to recognize it. So. Yeah, I'm super grateful for the chance to slow down. I was definitely in two modes, like fast or slow. So my gratitude is like being able to just be slow for a little bit oh yeah my gratitude today um john krasinski who is jim from the office and has done other roles since then he uh he has a show on youtube called some good news and i've been watching that recently and basically he just compiles all the really cool things that people are doing right now that are like empathetic and compassionate and um it's super funny and great so i'm thankful for people like him who put together that news and go out of their way to make that happen and make it accessible yeah i am i am very grateful for good coffee mm. today i think that's i i always it's it's just something that always makes me happy in the morning to just have a nice good cup of coffee so kind of a meditative thing but also just kind of a you know a, a welcoming to the morning is a nice good cup of coffee so yeah, your Jeez. dad's on here like, it's noon. <laughs> we know, Ken, that's morning for musicians. <laughs> <laughs> it's musicians' morning. Yeah, second morning. <laughs> All right, here we go. This song's called Vessel. 
recommend a book for you guys yeah um so today we're gonna recommend this book called it chooses you by miranda july and miranda july is one of my favorite um filmmakers and musicians and overall just like quirky artists um and this book i'm pretty sure it was written in 2009 but miranda july was working on one of her films she was like 99% of the way done with her screenplay and she just like hit a wall and couldn't finish it so she was living in LA and uh, kind of got distracted by these penny saver classified ads that came like kept coming into her mailbox so what she decided to do was like take this detour from her screenplay and go like interview people from their random ads for like leather jacket, $10. I'm going to call this person and like go interview them about their life and hopes and dreams. So it's got like a handful of stories, of cool little interviews. Um, it's probably like PG-13, so I'll let you know. <laughs> she's like kind of wacky, but I love her. And she's got um, a brand new book out as well that St. Vincent just recommended on oh, her nice. page. So I have to get reading that as well. Wow. Yeah, awesome. So once again, it's called It Chooses You by Miranda July. I'm excited to read this one. Let's see who's on. Um, some people were commenting they forgot to breathe out. <laughs> it's easy to do, you know. 
cool. Some people have read this book, which is cool. We've got Eli Brown, Antonia Shirley, we've got Dietmar, we got Alfred. Those are some patrons right there. Gary Kidd. Who else we got? Rex Benson. Hi, guys. Nice to see you again. It's cool. Been saying it's nice to see some familiar profile pictures. That's been a thing lately. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's uh, Daily Breather. Um, we are actually, we have a couple links in our description of this video. One of them is a link to a Spotify playlist that we've put together with all the Daily Breather songs thus far. We'll have to throw the audio tree version of Vestal on there. Mm. And um, we also have a link to our new Brilliant Books landing page. Brilliant Books is our local bookstore and they're absolutely amazing. They have created a landing page uh, where all of our recommendations are available to you for order. And just tomorrow, they're going to start doing curbside pickup. So uh, definitely check them out. They are incredible people and so tenacious, and we really love them. Mm -hmm. Lastly, there is a link to our Daily Breather YouTube playlist, which I know some educators have been reaching out asking for that, or um, anybody else who wants to just have all the Daily Breathers in one spot play in a row, um, one after the other. That's there for you. So um, lastly, I, we are playing... A show, I guess. We're playing a private show. Um, it's a ticketed show for Rockford Brewing Company. Rockford Bre I almost said Rockwood Music Hall, which is <laughs> a totally separate venue. But Rockford Brewing Company, um, we're super excited about it. So I think there's some tickets still available. I'm not sure. But, I mean, it's online, so, <laughs> so uh, check it out. We're super excited about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow or today.